Hi friends, today is Tuesday, May 12th, 2020. Today I'm going to read a story about a farm animal that you will find on a farm. And it is usually pink or black. It has four trotters, that's what their feet are called, and a curly tail. Can you guess what animal that is? Yep, you're right, it's a pig. Today I'm going to read a version of The Three Little Pigs. It's called The Three Little Pigs and the Somewhat Bad Wolf. It's written by Mark Teague. This is a fairy tale. But it's a different version of the story. Once there were three little pigs. They lived on a farm, as most pigs do, and were happy, as most pigs are. Then one day, the farmer told them that he and his wife were moving to Florida. He paid the pigs for their good work and sent them on their way. Let's buy potato chips, said the first pig. Let's buy soda pop, said the second pig. Let's buy building supplies, said the third pig, who was altogether unpig like Reluctantly, the others agreed. The first pig decided to build a house of straw. Since straw is cheap, he had plenty of money left over for potato chips. The second pig decided to build a stick house. Sticks are practically free, so he had lots of money left over for soda pop. The third pig decided to build a brick house. She spent all her money on bricks and mortar, but the man at the hardware store gave her a sandwich. Soon the straw house was finished. It was dusty and musty, but the first pig did not mind. He rocked in his hammock and ate potato chips. He's reading a cookbook called 1001 Tasty Desserts. That's my kind of book. Soon after that, the stick house was done. It was small and there was no room for a bathtub, but the second pig did not mind. He took a mud bath and drank soda pop. Brick by brick, the third pig worked on her house. Sometimes the other pigs would come by to watch. They had a wonderful time drinking their soda pop and eating their chips. Finally, the brick house was finished. It was big, beautiful, and strong. The third pig was very happy. She filled a basket with vegetables from her garden. The next day, a wolf came to town. He was very hungry and somewhat bad. He's going to Donut Dan's shop and look, Do Donut Dan's running out the back and he wrote, closed. He went to a donut shop, but it was closed. He went to a hot dog stand, but it was locked. And there's the owner, hot dog Hal, that's Hal. Put up its clothes sign and wrote a sign that said, and locked. Finally, he went to a pizza parlor, but he wasn't allowed in. He left in a very bad mood. Pete's pizza, Pete's Pete's. No shirt, no shoes, no wolves. Uh-oh, look at his face. He's looking angry. He's frustrated. Soon he came to a straw house. It smelled like pig. I like pig, he said, not in a friendly way. He banged on the door. Who is it? called the first pig. The wolf! Open up or I'll blow your house down. Um, I think the door is stuck, said the pig. So the wolf huffed and he puffed. And he blew the house down. I can't believe that work, he said. He had never blown down a house before. Quickly, the first pig got on his scooter and sped away. The wolf moved on, hungry but confident. He came to another house, this one built of sticks. <laughs> Same piggy smell, he said. He knocked on the door. Who is it? called the second pig. Wolf, open up or I'll blow your house down. Trust me, he added. I've done it before. Um, I think the door's jammed, said the pig. 
So the wolf took an enormous breath. <gasps> and he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. I'm amazed that works, he said. Meanwhile, pig number two got on his bike and rode away. The wolf was still very hungry. Very, very hungry. The hungry wolf came to a beautiful brick house. He noticed a familiar scooter and bicycle, and the house reeked of pigs. The somewhat bad wolf rang the doorbell. Who is it? called the pigs. The wolf! Open up or I'll blow this house down! Oh no, said the pigs. Not now! We are watching our favorite show! The starving wolf took a humongous breath, and he huffed, and he puffed, and he huff, huff, puffed, and he puff, huffed, huffed, and huffy, huffy, puff, huffed. After the huffing and puffing stopped, the third pig said, Do you think he's still out there? The three pigs looked through the window and saw the wolf collapsed on the lawn. Look at that poor guy, said the first pig. He's exhausted. Maybe he needs some potato chips. The second pig added, and some soda pop. The three pigs revived the wolf with some smelling salts and invited him in. The somewhat bad wolf was embarrassed. I was so hungry I could not think straight. Have a potato chip, said the first pig. Have a soda pop, said the second pig. Never mind that stuff, said the third pig. Dinner is almost ready. She's got her vegetables out. Since their house was wrecked, the first two pigs moved in with the third pig. My house, my rules, she said. She made them clean their rooms before they went out to play. The wolf stayed too, but there was no more huffing and no more puffing, and he was hardly ever bad. Ooh, I really like that version of the three little pigs. They didn't get eaten. I don't like when the pigs get eaten. All right, so today in your handwriting notebooks on page 58, you are going to work on the lowercase letter K. You are going to start at the top where high smiley is um, that high up in the middle, and you're going to go down straight. Then you're going to come out to the little line and kick in, and then kick out. So it's two strokes with your pencil. Big line down. Go out to the little line, kick in, kick out. You have to make sure that when you kick in, you touch that big tall line. Don't leave a gap there, don't leave a space. All right, so tomorrow I'm gonna read another story about a farm animal, and this time it's going to be a sheep. See you tomorrow.